Okay, so chippy chippy done. Uh, hopefully you can see. Of course, nose heavy this. You can see we've got all the lovely shine, we've got a little bit of chip, but see how nothing's too subtle? Uh, everything's very subtle, nothing jumps out of you. It's not like we've got a huge chipped area or anything else like that, okay? So what we're gonna do, first of all, we're gonna do a little bit of landing gear wash. Again, you could just make this up if you wanted to. So this is the uh, AK gear wash, all right? But if you wanted to, you could do an easy one, just make up your own one, which we'll do on the top in a moment with smoke, okay? So you've got smoke, or you've got this one down in here, which is known as shadow brown, which is pretty close. And down on here, we've got a little bit of buff, which is what I will probably use for the sand texture or just dust textures, okay? So this stuff is absolutely great, but I would, put something in there, put in some nuts and bolts, things like that. Marine grade ones, they won't rust or go funny, but that way it gets this stuff moving because it does separate really heavily because that's basically all it is. I'm assuming it's just this in a bottle. Um, okay, but we have it here, so we'll use it. All right, so it's quite dark this when you first apply it, but actually once it's been on, it will dry back uh, and give you not a bad look at all, okay? So we're just gonna load up the brush Okay, and then to start with, we're just going to pop in some of these areas, um, if I can handle this guy, and we're just going to do down in here things like gear doors, okay, now as I said, this stuff is really strong to start with, but we can knock a lot of this back, okay, so we're just going to put this on, and then what we're going to do is we're going to run it down gear, okay, and everything else like that, and as I say, we're going to rub some of this off, so don't be too worried about it okay or unless you wanted a nice strong effect so we're just going to pop it around in here now you might remember we've already done the wheels themselves with the sand of the wash and stuff like that all right so we don't have to worry about that all right so just a bit down in there and we're just going to run this just around so don't forget all what this is going to do is give us a slight shadow and because it's giving a shadow, it'll just give even more depth to the uh, components and parts and everything else like that, okay? So you're just gonna stick it everywhere because that way it'll cling to all the nuts and bolts. It'll also track capillary action. All of that stuff should work as well, okay? So we're just gonna lightly rub it round. Okay, and then I'll get doors. And it doesn't matter if it goes over to the other side and stuff like that, but what you do want to do is make sure it's all on even. Okay, because it's all on even, it will all tint the same colour, okay? And again, if you do go over with it, don't sweat it. Nothing that can't be fixed with a damp enamel-soaked cotton bud, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to continue this round on absolutely everything. Do you need to get that off though, the lump. Again, don't worry too much if you get it on the underside, on the metally bits. And then also what we're going to do is we're just going to track this just down in here on the underside of the actual uh, leading edge slats just to give them a little bit of depth because at the moment they're sitting far too proud okay so we're just going to put a little bit of this just down in here just to back everything down as is the rest of the model, okay? So then that way, no shiny spots, everything's an equal. We were saying about all weathering should be equal. This is what we're talking about, okay? And again, don't worry if it goes over or pokes through, goes in another area. We can maneuver this stuff absolutely everywhere, okay? As it goes around, but as you can see, it will dry, it will go subtle uh, and everything else. So again, things like We've got just down in here sides of the flaps because they're far too strong color uh, and things like that because it's got the initial paint on there. Okay, so we're just gonna do that. And then the other thing as well, I'm just gonna track a little bit down the control surfaces on the edge, which you'll see why in a second. Okay, so we're just gonna grab a little bit of this and we're just gonna pull it. 
down in there on those areas and again you can do the same if you wanted to to the flaps We've got a little super glue area there which we need to sand off okay back down to these flaps these flaps these flaps and then what you do grab a cocktail stick oh sorry cotton bud and then just flick backwards randomly as you go along and it should pick up some of this and then just flicks it backwards just gives you a little streak a little line as if you've got a little bit of fluid moving but again it's not essential because what happens is this will dry back flat okay and that's the nice thing with using enamels again they're not going to change anything too much okay so if you wanted to little things you can do um, down in here we've got a little bit of uh, sharpness if you like so we're just going to put a little few little drops just along here on this and then all we're going to do with this we're just going to streak it backwards and again we're just adding depth because as this dries it's not going to dry too much it's just going to be you can see that subtle changes where we've polished it and that will give you flat spots on top but remember if you rub it you can buff it you can take those out as well all right so it's not too much of a problem no matter where you go and as it dries down on the gear and everything else like that it should just give you great shadowing and all those things okay so again just popping all this down I'm quite happy with that and then again you can then if you want to leave this neat or you can then come in oh I done with mine but we had it right here there it is. we're just going to grab some enamel thinners okay and we'll just do this a little bit cack handed just need a few drops okay so this is just plain enamel thinners now down in here we can then soak it onto a cotton bud as in poke a little draw a little bit up into a, a cotton bud and then what we do is with this slightly soaked bud we just rub what this will do is obviously take it off all, all the high areas but it will also just maneuver and blend it around it stops it looking so sharp so it looks great on gear and stuff like that okay so you just give it a little rub just over gear where you think it's a little bit heavy and then you can do it vice versa because you can take the stuff you've been rubbing around and making a mess with and you can actually rub it onto areas that haven't got it yet and it will all stick to it as well okay but it's just a great way of actually doing this around but let it dry first don't go in there until it is dry because if it's not dry what happens is it will physically just rub everything away and you're left with very little behind Okay, so we're just going to do this door and this gear because we forgot him. Okay. Now, to be honest this center one I've never glued this in place that's why that one's moving okay but again we're just going to put it around in here and to be honest your best bet is to let this stay and dry okay let it all dry off and then rub it around afterwards but actually that's going to come along really very very nicely as we can see just on that okay so what we're going to do we're going to let that dry just like that and then we're going to come in with further coats changing it slightly so again we're going to be using a different couple of colors i'm going to go to resort and change over to using these because i prefer these to actually the homemade or the properly made ones okay and that way we can make up a few little different shades and stuff like that and literally start to go around and just weathering in and blending in and keeping everything very muted right the way over it as well as changing big panel colors as well so it acts like a little bit like a filter so it'll change the dimension the look the tint and also the shininess giving more and more three-dimensional effects as we make our way through
So what we'll do, let those dry on there. We'll come along then with a little bit of dust effect or buff in our case, as we'll use, just to sort of make things pop again, everything else like that. Then we'll flip it over and we'll get going on the top side. Okay, so we were just putting on that wash and to be honest, I'm not a mass fan of these uh, particular washes purely because they don't have the consistency. You have to shake them for so long to get them to go. And to be honest, I did shake them for what I thought was quite a while, but they haven't exactly given me what I'm after. So to be honest, and if you want them to be a lot more sort of cost effective, buying a set of 502s, they come in sort of sets and things like that you can get, is probably the most cost effective way because honestly, you hardly use any. It's clean, it's pretty straightforward to use and everything else like that. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna grab a little bit of the buff Oh man, if we just poke this over here a moment, how many of those? Uh, as you can see down in here, we've got a little dish and it has got just a tiny little drop of enamel thinners in the corner. Okay, so we're just going to scoop out just a little tiny bit of buff. That's literally all we need. And to be honest, that's going to be probably too much. I'm going to take a little bit off. Okay, and then all we do is just mix this in here. And this is just going to make us a little buff wash. Okay, now the reason for using buff is to basically simulate uh, sort of dust and just sort of light dirt and things like that. Now if you're finding it is like that, maybe just a little bit too light for your uh, liking, okay, what you can do, you can just come along then with a tiny little bit of brown, okay, and just grab a little smidgen of brown, and we're just going to mix this into this, and we're just going to take a couple of bites out of it and make it a bit more of a a dirty buffy colour. Something reminiscent really of sort of XF20. Okay. And that is literally it. Now this particular one we want to be a little bit more frugal about where we're sticking this because this is going to be really around sort of gear, stuff like that. So we're just going to pick a little bit of this up and then we're going to do is this hub, we're just going to let it soak around it. Okay, so we're just picking a little bit up and we're just going to do the walls of the tyres so it clings to the detail. But really where this is going is inside the hub because you imagine the hub will pick up quite a bit but you can see we've got it all around everywhere else. And if you wanted to, you could just put a little bit around the doors. Okay, just to simulate that sort of pick up and then Anyway, you've got little strapping and little bolts and sort of heavy duty parts on gear. So around sort of the suspension travel units, things like that, you can put a little bit more. And to be honest, we're just going to pop a little bit just around the edges, up around on these doors as well. And the whole point of this is just to simulate dirt and dust pickup. And if you want, you just give it a light brush everywhere if you find it's just a little bit heavy. And this is what we're saying. This will just give you a slightly lighter effect and to be honest I'm just going to pop it down in amongst the workings just down in here and again we can come back and we can pull a little bit of this off and everything else and as this dries it will dry quite nicely into things okay so we're just going to do the inside of the hub on this side and again artistic license so it's your model you do what you want to it okay so I'm just going to grab a little bit and we're just going to spring a little bit just on this outer door and again if you wanted to you could just pop a little bit and just draw it down over some of these You've got these large plates down here you see and in a moment we'll buff this back and it will just come in and knock into it so we've got this little bit of riveting that sort of comes along the bottom here and on this one down on here and all we're doing really is just adding again layers it's just layering up so just dropping some of this around in these little areas Okay, we've got this little hole just appeared down the back here. And again, the same, these stiffener type plates. And we're just going to hopefully get it to cling a little bit around, okay, the actual area. And again, it's just building up layers, going through the motions, okay. And then it is that thing, if you want it to dry back and stay as it is, or do you want it to rub away so again just making sure you go to the outside of the wall of the tire as well so it's sort of picked it all up but it's a nice little technique this one i do enjoy this one because it gives gear doors and tires just a little bit more depth again okay so again just a little bit just around 
just to liven up. Okay, so not forgetting everywhere needs it. So if you've done the main wheels, remember you've got the front one to do as well. Okay, and then when you do it, let it sort of filter off down to the, the separate sort of spokes and the various things like that. <coughs> So we're just going to pop this around here as well and this is just going to sort of simulate that sort of dust and dirt and everything that builds up around not just only hubs but wheels and tyres and and all these things okay so again we're just picking out various things and it is this thing it's depth we're just trying to add depth so I'm just going to put a bit around the actual these fuel tank holders pylons holders so inaccurate okay so that's those just a little bit on these guys just here just a little bit down into these again it's just thinking about what you're doing and trying to add little bits of detail and again we're going to buff all this in and we're just going to blend it in and everything else so it's all sort of hidden and, and taken out of the way okay but also what I'm going to do I'm just going to accentuate just down on some of these areas down on the back we're running out which is okay but we are literally just trying to pop some of this in in these areas just to give it that sort of feel okay so I'm quite happy of how that is all right so what we're going to do we're going to let that dry and do its own bit literally just like that now that's probably all we're going to need for that color but if you wanted to what you could do is if i should grab a little bit more we're just going to thin this off just a little bit so we're just going to grab a bit of thinners making a nice thin mix just down in here what we're going to do is we're going to pop a little bit just around this cockpit and again this is just going to dry and give you that sort of simulation of dust that you tend to get around cockpits and and all these things and if you find it's too strong you can either rub it out or just pop over it with something else okay and that's all we're trying to achieve on this just to sort of simulate sort of dust build up everyday wear and tear I tend to call it so again we're just going to pop a little bit just around in this gum bay on the floor just so it can sort of cling around and do its bit and everything else literally like that. We've got to do the upper inside of these panels, but you'll notice because you made it nice and thin, this will capillary actually will zip around and it will go off and deal in its own little areas and everything else like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, let that dry for around about 10 minutes, come back and then we're going to work our magic on the top. Okay, so in the past we've shown things like uh, post shading and putting in faded panel lines. We show pre shading and stuff like that, and we've done various things using neat oils to give blending effects and things. But what we're going to do is we're going to knock up this very simple sort of wash and just do some very fine details with it, just changing things. So working a bit like a filter, as in just changing slight tonal shades, but also enabling us to put, pick out individual details. Uh, and things like that. So down on here we're using uh, the 502 oils and as I say we've got a little bit of the smoke which is 005. So this, which has made a right royal mess in my hand already, okay let's grab this. <clears throat> Make sure you do not handle your model when you've got oil paint all over you. It wouldn't be the first time I've done it and to be honest it's not a problem if you do because it comes off quite easy it's just a time consuming mess. Okay so we're just going to grab a little bit of this which is our smoke into this which is just enamel thinners and we're just going to make up a very very light wash okay now you want to keep mixing this until you've got no grittiness and no streaks and anything else like that and this is where it's sometimes better i feel than actually using uh, the actual pre-made ones because in here i can see exactly what is going on okay so i can see if it's thoroughly mixed or if it's not but as you can see down in the palette it's smooth now we've got no big areas okay so we've got no grittiness or anything else and that's what we're looking for is smoothness okay so let's pop the lid on this to stop us making big big messes okay so this is the smoke 
which to be honest is my favorite one for sort of doing black washes and stuff like that. So down in here, what we're gonna do is just gonna pop it along here, okay? And what this will do, it's gonna cling to the actual uh, bolt heads and this details in this metal area, but also what it's gonna do is slightly gloss it, which means it's gonna make it a little bit more metal looking, okay? So just make sure you brush it right the way. Now it doesn't matter if you get any bits on the model itself because we'll deal with all of those a little bit later. Now down here we've got an access panel so we're just going to pop a little bit of wash right the way over it and we've got one below it. Now they're not so much you know right there in your face but they are certainly there so they're going to get a little bit and then obviously what we're going to do is we've got a few little panel lines and various things just running around these areas and then we obviously, like we did on the, the flaps and the tail system, just a little bit of that oil just going onto these areas and onto the backs of these guys. Okay, so we're just going to brush that in. And then down in here, again, always mixing your, your palette because otherwise it will, it will change colour. You'll end up with browns and everything that's made up with this. Okay, so that's that one in, things like that. And then again... You're literally just going to poke around very small areas. We're just going to put a little bit more down in here. Okay, then we're just going to bring a little bit along here. We're going to, just going to bring a bit around this access port. Okay, now this is one of those things where sometimes you can just leave it and not worry about it. Other times it physically needs to be maneuvered around and things like that. Okay, so up here on this cockpit area around the top, we're just going to put a little bit just down in here, a little bit on this back one with a darker colour. We've already got that light sand in there, so this will just go in amongst it, and then it should all come together. To be honest, as you can see, this area at the back here is where we did that aerial. It needs toning right down, so a nice liberal dunker. This will do the job very, very nicely. The other thing as well is obviously inside of the hatches. So again... Plenty of wash, let it capillarate around all the hatch doors and everything else like that. So as you can see, we've got one done compared to the others, like night and day. Okay, so again, but again, making sure it covers everything. It has to go on every single part so you're not left with a, a clean spot, for want of a better word. Okay, so that's those taken care of, and then obviously we're just going to flip this guy around, and we're just going to repeat exactly the same just on the other side down in here. Okay, some of this stuff just down the back. And then again, what we're going to do is, once this has been on and dried and all of these things, and we're not, this one here, I've made a mess, I've gone too far, so I'm going to paint that entire door. Okay. And again, it's all to do with blending on this, okay, because we will blend and take care and in we're just going to do a little bit down in here we're just going to bring a bit over here and remember we haven't sealed any of this so just be a little bit mindful now on this side we're going to put a little bit on this side because this is crew access side so again just up and down tight motions right to the bottom so it all sort of stains in because what we're thinking is if crew are rubbing up and down on this, it's just generally going to be nastier than anywhere else. Okay, so again, just puts a little bit down in there. And now this is starting to dry everywhere. I'm just going to slightly filter up different areas. So down on here, this control surface for this aileron, we're going to go right over that. We're going to put a little dab just down in the corners. We're just going to follow the panel lines just around on this little chap, a little bit on the upper edge. Okay, and then again, same over this engine, just to take care and to slightly weather this guy up. And 
again we can come in with detailing afterwards but for the moment that's all we're going to do with it so these guns just inside the barrels and around the sneaky little areas on the end again it's all about subtleties we want the little tiny details we don't want anything showing too much just around that nose and then down in here just on the bridge and then on this guy so it just is going to hang around a few of the little type areas okay mixing it up good good mix see what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this entire door so it all clings in and goes dirty just to give different shades and textures to everything again don't forget we're wiping off with a lot of this okay just the sides down in here back of the head box if you wanted to pop it over the seats all those little details <clears throat> and as you can see where it's drying off it's going to dry slightly patchy which is what we want okay control surface at the rear because what we're going to do is blend everything which is fun to say the least okay so this tails just to tell you what let's do the edges of these okay so if you find it anywhere that's got a little port or a little area that perhaps you want to sort of you know just highlight a little bit of something that's going on so perhaps a fuel filler area all these things you can just come in and add more details as you like okay Okay, so on this side again we're going to pick out a little bit of dirt, just going to pop it down the side here and then again once we're in we're just going to flick him up and down just to add more layers of dirt and grime and distress. And again once this is all in and drying and everything else we'll then go through the motions of removing it all. Okay, so there we go happy with that just going to do a little bit on the actual rudder okay and again you can cause little rain marks and water marks as if things are, are sort of happening with this you can go along what i'm doing now is literally just following a few of the little panel lines down just adding little bits of grime and distress and everything on the side as we make our way through this one so really what to be honest I'm just using up what we've got but at the same time I'm just trying to be a little bit focused on what we've got here and how it's gonna weather and all these things okay so I'm just trying to you look at the model and you just see rain areas and then where things would come down so I'm thinking watermarks so you know definitely down in some of these areas like here for example you just know it's going to get watermarks and then it'll probably run south so I'm just tracking what I'm seeing okay so I know a lot of people say you know use references and this that and the other but also just think about how it's going to work you know where are you going to get these little marks and various things going on you know okay so actually that's looking pretty good very happy with how this is going the only thing you've got to do which i haven't done yet which we'll do in a second is think about other things like for instance here we are putting all of this in and it's looking great and we're happy and all the rest of it the canopy is going to look new so what we need to do is just weather up the canopy a bit so we're just going to grab a bit of this and we're just going to put a little bit of this right the way over the canopy just so it's grimy and dirty with everything else otherwise we're going to put this on it's going to look really really clean so that's what we're saying about sometimes it's always best to leave absolutely everything to the last otherwise you're just into that situation where it looks great but unfortunately it's just too clean or it's too nice or 
something else like that. Now this guy here, technically it needs framework on the inside, so we're going to wing it and we're just going to put the last of our wash just down in here. There we go. All right. So there we go. Happy with that. What we're going to do, let it dry because it needs to dry because otherwise you come and start wiping it, it's just going to wipe it all away and you've wasted your time. Going to let this dry and then what we're going to do, we're actually going to buff it all in. So we're going to use basically, just a big old brush here, little tiny bit of dried out thinners onto it and just blend and buff and just get everything sitted in there as we want it. Then we can use a little bit of just solid state as in unthinned just for doing some more detail things, hydraulic leaks, things like that and everything else just to wear everything in. But we're actually getting to a really nice position now where it's looking really really good and exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> 